Hello, I'm Steve Double. I'm the Conservative Parliamentary Candidate for next year's general election. Since my last video message a few weeks ago, it's been a really busy time here in St Austell and Newquay. My campaign team have been working with me to continue to get my message out across the constituency. We've been working in Foy where we helped support a local campaign to save the town bus from the cuts from Cornwall Council, which we've successfully done. I've also been consulting with farmers to learn more about the effects of bovine TB on cattle farmers and to seek their views on the government's t trial badger culls. In St Austell there's only been one topic that people have been talking about and that was the, the recent decision by Cornwall Council to refuse the planning application for the Coit Farm out of town retail development. There's been a huge public outcry as many people, I believe an overwhelming majority of local people, actually support this application and I'm very pleased to see that the developers Mercian are going to resubmit their application and I'm going to continue to represent the views of local people on that issue. But the other big news has clearly been the weather. We've experienced some of the most extreme weather, certainly in my lifetime, here in Cornwall. And it's been affecting both the north and the south coast. Both Foy and Mevergizzi have experienced uh, quite bad tidal flooding over the last few weeks. And I've been to visit both the, those towns and met with the harbour master in both places and met with local business people to make sure that they're getting as much help and support as possible. It was really good news that Cornwall Council did a U-turn on their policy regarding sandbags and took up the Prime Minister's offer to fund the cost of sandbags to be able to give them free to residents and businesses. And that was a really great help. It was unfortunate that, that there wasn't a distribution place in Mid Cornwall so that the, the, the uh, communities of Foy and Mevergizzi were able to easily access these sandbags. And I've been in contact with Cornwall Council to make sure that should uh, sandbags be needed again in the next few weeks, that there will be a distribution point in Mid Cornwall. Here in Newquay the beaches have taken a real battering from the storms. Uh, we can see here that there's been sand washed away from the RNLI station here and further down the beach there's been significant damage uh, to, to the uh, rock armour. Uh, I met with John Pollard, the leader of Cornwall Council, and, and, and uh, lobbied him to say that Newquay should really be made a priority when it comes to the repairs. Cornwall Council's got a huge task on its hand in carrying out all of the repairs needed across Cornwall, and they're going to need to make a priority list. But I'm saying that Newquay should be at the top of that priority list, because Newquay plays a very strategic role within Cornwall and the tourist industry. And it's absolutely vital that this work is done as soon as possible before the tour tourist season starts in uh, Easter. Other beaches in Newquay, such as Tower Beach and the Harbour, have also experienced significant damage from the storms. One of the things that I will continue to do is make sure that I listen to you and represent your views. Whether that's on local issues like the bus in Foy or planning issues in St Austell or on big government policies like the issue of bovine TB and the badger cull or whether it's speaking up for places like Newquay and Foy and Mevergizzi when it comes to flood and storm damage. I'm determined to do all I can to represent you in the, in the very best possible way. As always, I want to hear from you. If you want to know more about me, what I stand for, or my campaigns, then please do get in touch. And if you'd like to help with my campaigns, then again, please get in touch. Details are on the screen. We've got a lot of work to do over the next few months to make sure that St Austell and Newquay gets the very best representation in Westminster that it can. I want to be your MP, and I hope that uh, I can win your trust and vote.